gas and I have some coffee we're on our way to um, our hospital it's the same place that we had our other two babies are you ready TJ yep. yeah I think we're physically ready to meet the baby I don't know we're just tired emotionally there's been a lot going on the last month honestly I'm having a contraction right now but I'm not I don't think I'm in labor throwing up before we left, so I think that probably triggered some contractions. Oh. A girl. First things first, I have to pee in a cup. Best socks ever in the infamous gown. IVs now. They've got um, the IV fluids running just to keep me hydrated and my antibiotics because I was GBS positive this pregnancy. It is 5.56 in the morning. Um, they just checked me a few minutes ago and I'm almost five centimeters dilated and I'm contracting every two to four minutes on my own. So they're pretty surprised by that. They're gonna call the doctor and see if they actually wanna start Pitocin right away or wait a little while because they think that I'll go really fast once they do start the Pitocin. They wanna make sure I get the antibiotics in for like four hours before the baby is born. Strong contraction right now. <sighs> this is our room. I'll just show you from the bed right now because that's where I'm sitting. Hopefully I'll be able to get up soon and like bounce on a ball or something. But over there is TJ's little chair, my side table, our windows. It's still dark outside. Our TV, bathroom over there. That's the door. Behind those cabinets is the isolate where the baby's gonna go when she's born. And then my little computer monitor with the baby's heart rate and my contractions. This is true love. Ah, that's nice. My legs are super dry. It makes me self-conscious whenever the nurses check me. <laughs> so they're going to wait until 9 o'clock when my doctor comes in, check me again, and then decide if they're just going to break my water or start Pitocin then. And I'm really hoping they just break my water. It'd be amazing to have a labor without Pitocin for once in my life. Sun is starting to come up. <sighs> Look. 
look at that contraction I just had. Went off the charts. And I'm not even on Pitocin yet. Um, let's see, it is 8.10 right now. Nothing really has changed. We've just been sitting, hanging out. My doctor's gonna be in at nine to check me. I don't think there will be any change because I'm not even in any pain right now, so. Side note, I love these huge water cups that they give you while you're in labor and delivery. These things are amazing. We can't wait to meet you, baby. I'm also really grateful that we don't have to wear masks in our room. They said like as soon as we are in our room and settled, we don't have to wear masks or anything like that. Um, but we're not allowed to walk the halls because of COVID or because of the virus. Um, normally like you're allowed to walk the halls to try to get labor started, but you have to stay in your room. Um, TJ is allowed to leave, like to go get food or whatever. He just has to like check back in downstairs and make sure he doesn't have a fever or something. I don't know. And I can only have one support person or one visitor at a time. So that person is TJ. I'm sure my kiddos are probably waking up right now because it's a little after eight. They were up really late last night until like 11 or so. And I'm hoping that they're good for my mom today because when they are sleep deprived, they're pretty rough to handle. So good luck, mom. Sorry, I hope that they are good for you. and then my ivy pole set off an alarm. A nurse just popped in the door because she happened to hear it, the alarm going off, so she fixed it for us. Another update, it is now 9.02. My doctor hasn't been in yet, but he'll be here soon, um, but apparently he called the nurses and told them to start, start the Pitocin, and he'll be in shortly to check me. The nurse said that most doctors start women off at a two, and he started me off at a six. So, <sighs> I'm freaking out, guys. I hate this part. I hate Pitocin. I didn't want Pitocin. <laughs> I was really hoping he would just come in and break my water, but apparently he wants to try to just pick up my contractions more and get things going more. So, <sighs> fun times. You can see down the bottom strip are now my contractions after just starting the Pitocin, which was what, 15 minutes ago? Not even, like 10 minutes ago is when they started the Pitocin. And already my contractions are like every two to three minutes apart and they're regular and they're strong. Okay, so it is 9.30 now. They broke my water at about 9.23. So about 20 minutes after starting the Pitocin, they just came in and broke my water. My doctor said I was at a solid five centimeters when he broke my water. Um, every time I have a contraction, I feel a gush of fluid coming out, so that's fun. But yeah, I just had my first actually painful contraction, and I think it's going to get pretty intense. And I'm scared. And I have to pee. <clears throat> so it's 9.30 now. TJ, what time do you think baby girl will be born? 8 p.m. <laughs> I think the scariest part to me of pushing out a baby without an epidural is the actual baby coming out part and like tearing and then like stitching me up afterwards with no epidural. That terrifies me. So I don't know if I should get the epidural or not. So far, I don't have anything pain medicine wise. Normally my mom is always here whenever I'm in labor. She was here with each of my other two kids so it really sucks that she can't be here for this one. We're really bummed about it. Um, 
So we're trying to set up Zoom right now, but she's at my house and trying to figure out the Wi-Fi in order to use Zoom. So, wonder if I can like Google, oh, contraction. <sighs> calming labor music. I typed that into YouTube, calming labor music. And it came up with like this three hours ultimate pain relief. All of these are pregnancy relaxation music. I need labor relaxation music or like calming music. Help, my cat is giving birth. This music will relax your kitty during pregnancy and giving birth. Like that's cool and everything, but I'm not a cat. Do they have any for humans? Oh here, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna watch this video, breathing techniques for an easier labor. Here should be good. Can only Double see. Hi guys. Okay, I'm gonna lift up my butt, and Daddy's gonna change my towels. <laughs> They checked me at 11, which was 14 minutes ago, and there was no change. I was still, ooh, fluid covered out. Ah, it's like squeezing all of the amniotic fluid out of me right now. I just feel, it. oh my gosh, it's just like pooling out. There was no change. I was still five centimeters dilated at uh, 11 o'clock. So they upped my Pitocin by two. So it was at six, now it's at eight and definitely feeling it hoping that I start to dilate more on my own because I don't want them to have to keep increasing Pitocin I have my mom and my kids on zoom over here it's better than my mom not being here at all so <laughs> okay so it's um, 11.50 now and they just increased the Pitocin again by two because um, the last increase wasn't really doing anything. So now I'm up to 10. I do appreciate how slowly they're increasing me. I let them know right off the bat just my aversion to Pitocin and I think they're taking it very seriously because I've been on it since 9 a.m. and I've only gone from a six to a 10. So. They're definitely respecting my fear of the Pitocin, which is really nice of them. Uh, but at the same time, we do need to get things like rolling, keep things happening. I would say about like 30 minutes ago, I started finally having like really regular and strong contractions and they're like getting pretty painful, like really uncomfortable now. So I'm hoping at my next check, I'm more progressed than I was before. I was five before, as of now I'm still five. Um, but I think that makes sense because only recently I actually started getting like painful contractions that are probably doing something. My Pitocin is only up to a 12, so which is a very like relatively low number for a Pitocin dosage. Um, they're just trying to like slowly increase me on it to get to the point where my own body takes off and goes into labor kind of like on its own. Okay. It's just at the very top of the contraction where it like hurts the most. As soon as it starts coming down, I feel better. So there on the bottom are my contractions can see how close together they are and how they're like going off like the peak is off the top of the charts and then the top yellow strip is baby's heart rate which has looked good so far she's she's been doing great so something funny is that yesterday I was just kind of thinking about the baby and what she looks like um, I just kind of had this thought maybe she'll be like my first baby that comes out with dark hair like TJ 
and I was just talking with my mom on Zoom and she said the exact same thing that she was picturing the baby coming out with dark hair. So it'll be fun to see if that's the case. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Her heart rate's 67 right now. Yeah. And it's back up to 130. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> Are you trying not to laugh at me? <laughs> I look up at TJ after my contraction and he's smiling <laughs> like an amusement. <laughs> her heart rate drops because like I start to feel better and then all of a sudden her heart rate drops and then it picks back up. Seven to eight centimeters dilated. I'm so excited. You're transitioning honey. You're, you're gonna make it. Oh. but they're not sponsoring the video, so they're not. be the peppermint whiffer so if she needs it you can just whiffer some peppermint that's a good job
baby. You're doing good, sweetheart. You're doing really good. Thank you. 
Over here with me just because okay. she's real junky and not Same. getting the. Right she has dark hair. It might be bloody, but it no, looks it's dark. dark. She has dark hair. Are you gonna like numb all that? Yeah. Please. 1%. <laughs> Small tear, but you got a little bit of a tear. Just a little one. Not too bad. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was 
was always the one to find myself lost in our conversations, oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you Glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you You take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you Making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby And I think to myself And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I'll always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better